A new emergency service fee that would come out of Rehoboth Beach taxpayers' pockets. Good evening. I'm Christina DeVerbertis, in for Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with the cost of that ride to the hospital. Well, having to call an ambulance is something no one wants to think about, but when emergency services are needed, there's a charge for that. And as Coast TV news reporter Emma Aiken shows us, the cost could soon increase in Rehoboth Beach. As thousands of people enjoy Rehoboth Beach each summer, the Rehoboth Beach Volunteer Fire Company says ambulance calls double, but the funds supporting these services have dropped. The company is asking each taxpayer within city limits to chip in. Rudolph Gonzalez works on the boardwalk. Here's what he thinks about it. Honestly, frustration because prices are already up. People are already paying higher taxes, higher rent, and this is just another fee. Actually, this summer wasn't as great as other summers as far as business. So a lot of the businesses are down. I don't know how they feel about having to whip out an extra fee. The company says it currently has five ambulances, but only enough staff to operate two, sometimes three at a time. It says a service fee would help pay a third crew's salary. The demand for EMS calls this summer was so high that 86 times the Rehoboth Beach Fire Company had to ask for help from outside towns and cities. Volunteer firefighter Mike Simpler says in August alone, they had 628 fire calls. Oh my God, the calls this summer have exploded here at the resort area. Uh, as people know with the traffic on Route 1, we have the same issue because they come in town, people are falling, you know, all, all the normal injury, surf injuries, automobile accidents. As this EMS truck returns, firefighters here worry they won't have enough trucks and people to send back out without the new service fee. In Rehoboth Beach, I'm Emma Aiken, Coast TV News.